Hey, what's up everyone? TJ here, out riding at Annapuri Resort again today with the crew. We got a ton of fresh snow out gate G2 right now. First time it's open since the last storm rolled through. It's epic out here, guys. Today I'm checking out the Battalion Surfer Snowboard, the limited edition. Let's get it. Just held a long toe side traverse. This thing did really well in that deep snow, just helping me climb up that bank as I was pushing over here. And it got me to an epic looking tree zone. Mellow trees, untouched. Let's see how this thing swivels through some trees and some deep, deep Japan powder. Look at this real quick. This is some of my favorite style of terrain right here. Today might be the ideal day to test this snowboard, guys. And the surfer is killing it out there. It's got so many directional features going on. It's got the standard stuff, taper, setback, directional shape, but it has two really unique features. It's got a massive swallowtail. I've never ridden a board with a swallowtail like this. So much fun. And it's also got Battalion's POW 3BT. So if you look at the top sheet, the gray line in the middle is flat and the black zones are uplifted side base. So the front of the board is super spooned out, really giving this guy tons of float and making it really, really quick to turn. It's been so fun out here today. Kevin, how was your first lap, man? Yeah, first lap was amazing. Maybe one of the best ever. And man, I think on that board you're riding today, it's the perfect one. I'm on the Orca, loving it. But in these conditions, you need that like dedicated pow board. And wow, Japan is the real deal. On these last couple of laps, I've been trying to focus on the flex on this snowboard, and it's a little bit softer than I expected. I'm on the 159 today. I'm about 150, and to me, it feels like a pretty solid medium flex. So if you're a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier, getting on the 159, it might feel a little bit softer. But for me, I've been really enjoying it today, helping to give me more stability, going through that chop, going through those steeper sections, complementing that camber, offsetting that swallowtail as well. Looks like we've got a beautiful pillow right here. Kevin said the landing is untouched. I wasn't expecting that ridge there, but pulled it out, still powder landing. We got another one. As expected guys, the surfer is floating insanely well out here. There's some other call outs in this board as well though. It's a full positive camber profile, so I think that's complementing that deep swallowtail they put on this snowboard. It also runs a high density centered base, accelerating really quickly out here, a really fast snowboard. And something else I really like is the larger side cut radius on this guy. So that large side cut combined with that swallowtail is allowing this board to be very maneuverable in the powder swiveling through those trees, but it's still fun for carving. You can get those longer drawn out turns on groomers. So it's a fun pow board, also gonna be a fun carving snowboard. That camber is helping with stability. I got a couple of drops on that last lap. Got to work on my technique a little bit, but I can definitely feel that stability coming through. Also giving this board a bit more pop, which is a little bit unexpected. All right, we're on the way back up to gate G2. Bo said he found an amazing zone that last lap, so he's going to take us through there. Hopefully find some nice untouched tree lines. Took a bit of a tight traverse this time through some trees to try to get to a uh, Another good looking powder zone we saw higher up should lead us into the same trees down below. Really tight through here. All right, I see the 
rest of the guys just down below. Looks like it's opened up nicely from here. Some of the smaller details on this board are worth calling out as well. It's a beautifully designed snowboard and the construction is also done very well. Full 360 degree metal edges all the way around that swallow tail with the metal skid plates on the tail. So as you're sticking this board in the snow or carrying it around, you're not gonna be damaging the tips of that swallow tail. And they even got the 3BT on the swallow tail as well, which I think was helping me to ride switch whenever I needed to do that to help get around on those traverses and that powder. today guys I was really really impressed with the versatility on the surfer it's not just a pure powder board it can really be taken all mountain in my opinion it's got that camber that mid flex and that swallow tail is actually long enough that contact point goes all the way to the end of the tail where it's still gonna be helping you out as you're going through that choppy technical terrain tons of float still good for carving as well it's just an all-around ripper I'm definitely gonna be keeping my eye on this board for next season. And don't forget, I was riding the Limited today, but they also make just a normal version of it at a bit of a lower price point. So I'll have those linked down below if you wanna check them out. Thanks for watching today, guys. It was one of the best days of the trip so far. So much fun. We'll see you in the next video soon. Japan.